So the creation process for me, I mean, it's a really an internal sort of struggle, an inner journey. First you have to figure out what you want to do. An example is I created a number with my brother. Right from the start we said, okay, well we want to capture, you know, our relationship together as brothers. You know, we didn't have any props so we could feed off of each other. We would, we would both move and we both like support each other. Like I'd take his weight, he'd take my weight. And then like, sure enough, like it turned into, okay, well we want to show the fight, you know, like fighting. And we were like pulling off of each other, going into each other at the same time show that even though we fight, we still needed each other. You know, it's almost like um, like coming up with a new language, which I thought was really, I don't know, it was something really personal to us to be able to explore that. It was a challenge for us to do, uh, and we just liked knowing that we weren't 100% sure if we were gonna make the trick. It was a trial and error. And sometimes we would do it up to five times, you know, in the same show, and like a lot of people think it five times, that's kind of ridiculous to do. But for us, it was like, yeah, but why not? respect the audience and we say like listen we under like we want you to understand we're not machines you know we're not robots we're human beings just like you guys well we're trying to show you through acrobatics and through circus that you know you might as well try it you might as well go back to school even if you fail and you get bad grades it doesn't matter you know that you can't worry about that you just have to go for it exactly the message we want to sh give to the audience it's like if you fall you try again that's the point you know like we don't know if we're going to make it but we're going to give it another shot and we're gonna keep giving it another shot. I mean, even now, it's like I'm sitting on the chair and it's like, okay, I'm just gonna be sitting like this. All of a sudden, it's like, oh, hey, do you like that move? Okay, it's kind of cool, right? So then I'll do that and then I'll come down to the ground. Maybe it'll take me somewhere else. And it's like you can push the chair away. So it's like, go down, around. You're just kind of playing. You're not really sure what you're doing and if it makes sense, but you start, you start to build, you know, a language, a vocabulary. So maybe I don't like doing that first. Maybe I'll come around here and then I'll step over, and then I'll go here, and then I'll go like that. And then it'll take me somewhere else. And you get so much out of improvisation. I mean, when I create, I love to improvise. You're not really sure what you're doing. You know, you don't know what the final product's gonna be. Um, and the hard thing is, is that you, you wanna make something good, but you can't really make something good if you're worried about the final product. It's just keeping an open mind and saying, okay, I'm gonna see what I can do with this chair. So another part of the creation process is, you know, remembering those moves. You know, which is really important, and that's another reason why we like to film our work or our improvisations. Maybe if you're having trouble coming up with a move, or if you're having trouble finding inspiration, let's look at what we explored before, and maybe that will spark something new. You have to, you just have to keep, keep the options open. You know, don't close any doors. You know?